In this video, I am going to show you how to airbrush these skulls with smoke flames using my skull tool template sets. Super easy to do. Let's get into it right now. I'm going to go ahead and fill the airbrush up with some white. So I'm going to line up the negative template where I want the skulls to be. So I'll start with this one. I'm just going to use a bit of tape to tack it into place. And because I want to build up a bit of a white base in that area of the negative template, I'm going to mask around the surface so that I don't get any overspray because it will travel. Now spraying that in. Build up some decent coverage. And using some transparent black, it's probably about a mid-tone of uh, transparent black and using the positive template that corresponds to that skull. You can see they do have registration marks, but I know that this is the one that I need to use and I can just line it up with the outside edge. Nice and simple, but feel free to use the rego marks if you prefer. It's gonna hold that into place and just lightly dust through there to get my basic outline. You can see it's faint, but it's Still there, which is all we need. Now go ahead and remove this. And we're gonna go do that with all the skulls that I wanna use. So because this template set has the negatives and the positives, plus it's got your texture templates all built into one, this um, will allow you to do multicolored skulls and easily build up texture and add fire, which is what I'm gonna do here. I'll add some real smoke flame. All right, so we've got our first one in place. Now I'll go ahead and you can see if you want to know which ones correspond, you can line them up with the rego marks, but I'm going to go ahead and use this one next. We'll go ahead and scatter that here. Again, mask up around the outside. Obviously make sure the one you've just completed is dry. So if you need to, grab a heat gun or a hairdryer and dry it off. Again, start with a base coat of white. make sure it's dry, still a bit wet. So you can also use the air of the airbrush to dry it off. Line it up and light dusting. And again, we've got our marking. So it's just to build the underpainting. I'm using the templates for that. And I'll do the rest freehand. If you struggle to do the whole process freehand, then you can definitely utilize these templates and keep going back to them as you add more detail. Now I wanna add in this one, this will probably be the last skull. I'll just do three so I've got enough room for fire. So that's this particular negative stencil. So place it where you want that one to be. Again, tack it into place. And then I've got a mask up around it. Make sure you get all the little gaps. And I'd cover the rego mark as well. I don't need that, it's easy enough to line up. Again, starting off with the white. From a distance, I'm building it up lightly, so I'm not trying to saturate it all in one coat and get complete coverage. Just build it up, dry it off a little bit, and then coat back over. Okay, so again, the corresponding template, which is this one here, line that up, make sure it's in the right position, and then light dusting over the whole lot to get our underpainting. Okay, so you can see I've got some overspray there. Using my positive that also comes in this template set, line that up and easily spray the edge with black because we're on a black canvas. And that's just gonna crisp it up. Now I could have got away with it, but I just thought I'd show you quickly how easily that is to sharpen it up. So the initial transparent black that I use to mark out the skulls, that's a little bit too light to continue to render. So I've mixed up a darker transparent black. So essentially just adding a little bit more black into that mix. And now I'm gonna to start to pull out the detail within the skull.
So up nice and close. Just to get nice shading in there. Working on the darker areas first. Again, if you struggle doing this part freehand, then go ahead and grab the template. You can see how easy this template set makes it to render some really simple skulls, but a bit more realistic looking. I'll darken all this off towards the back of the teeth to give it a bit more of a 3D appearance. Pull out a little bit more detail underneath. The scale of these templates and the skulls specifically designed to make it really handy for Harley tanks. They're just the perfect size. You can have them on either side of the tank. And just saves you spending extra time drawing them all out. A little bit of shading. And then grabbing the template, I'm going to use this to do a bit of pitting. So just move it around. some finer dots here, some deeper crevices, and then we've also got the grunge. You can use these bits to add in the cracks if you like. So for instance if we wanted to add another bit up here, we could use that and then Create the crack off that, nice and easy. Again with the texture, you can move it around. Okay, moving on to the next one. Same procedure. Now I usually always start in the eye sockets and the nostrils. It's a lot more forgiving, so if you start here and you make a mistake, you go too dark, it doesn't matter as much.
find cracks again. Working on the teeth. Now this time his mouth is open. Of a drop shadow. Darken this section off. more shading again shade down some of those teeth so you can see how I put the detail in and then I'll knock it back now I'll come in again with some uh, texture as well. So you don't need much. Keeping it relatively simple. Last one, and then I'll bring some fire through. If this is the first time watching one of our videos, then welcome. For all of our regular viewers, welcome back. I do hope that you're enjoying this video tutorial so far. If you are, give it a thumbs up, share it out, and let's build this airbrushing community together. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing, tap on that bell icon, and that'll notify you every time I put out new content. You see I'm building the shape. It's nice and easy to do. I enjoy showing you how to use templates when airbrushing because it allows anyone even if you can't draw there's no limitation you can use this template and recreate a really cool looking artwork and it's super easy to do a little bit of freehand texture and then I'll come back in with the texture template as well in a minute.
Now again, just coming in with that pitting. A little bit more shading on this little guy. So now to do my smoke flame, I'm gonna use the templates that had the negative skull sections, because we've got the flame edges. The only thing you need to do is using the positive masks, place them back into the spaces corresponding to the skull and just mask off around them. So that way you fill the holes, otherwise you may get overspray. So I've already done all these ones. I'll just show you how to do this center one. Okay, there you go. Now you've got a cool flame template. So now starting, I'll start from that eye there. Aim for the edge of the template. And then add in a bit of freehand as well. So the key is to do both, meaning use the template and also come in freehand to define the edge. And I'm just using white. Don't get disheartened, this takes a bit of practice just to get your flow. Because that's like the key thing with, with any sort of real fire flames is getting that flow and that'll be your own little style. Everyone does it differently. So by all means you can try and imitate this but you'll probably find that you'll have your own little method of doing it. Use some of these negative bits. And anything that you don't like, you can obviously eliminate that as well with the black. Now coming back in with the white, it's going to come in and do some bright white highlights. Finish it off. Couple of highlights on the teeth. Mm -hmm. 
So more defined now. You don't need much, but just enough to brighten up some sections of the bone. You can also come back in with the template and hit some of these dots for the pitting. Even though that works, I do like to mix it up and do this freehand. You can also brighten up any of the smoke flame, just at least where it starts. few bright white highlights on the cracks. Same procedure as the previous skull, just hitting some of those highlights. You don't have to go over everything, you're just picking out the brighter spots. And final one. Again, nice and close to the surface to get a real bright highlight. building up the texture, moving in and out, trigger finger on and off to make the airbrush kind of spit out more paint in certain areas, giving you an uneven spray. Okay, so add a bit more contrast. I'm just going to come in with regular black now and just deepen some of these shadows. Not by much. I don't want to eliminate all of the transparent black that I've done. So you don't have to do this. I just thought I'll add it in and then if you want to do it, then you can by all means follow along. Again, I'm going to be painting less now because as you go darker, you generally paint less of the painting, especially when it's a skull like this. Obviously, it depends on what you're painting, but in this case, every tone 
you should be doing a bit less. The reason for that is you're allowing your previous tone to blend back into the one that you're just working on. I'll also blend out on the canvas a little bit, get a bit of depth in the fire. I'm not going to go back over the teeth, that's not needed. Just kind of picking out some key areas. See it doesn't need much. Move on to the next one. Close up of the skulls. So to continue your learning, be sure to check out some of the other videos and playlists that I've got listed here. And until next time, go grab your airbrush do some amazing artwork yourself, and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.